In its formula, the Council of Chalcedon defined the church's belief that Jesus Christ is indeed one divine person in two unconfused natures, divine and human. Yet this formula by no means ended the conflict over the nature of Christ, but in many ways fueled the debate. By the fifth century, the gap between Eastern and Western theology, a gap that had been widening for centuries, finally reached an impasse. Now the differences were philosophical, some think merely terminological, but either way, the Chalcedonian formula of one divine person in two natures was still a very Western solution to a largely Eastern problem. For example, many in the East held a strict allegiance, not only to the thought, but even the language of the North African theologian Cyril of Alexandria. Now Cyril, in defense of biblical revelation and in response to an encroaching Hellenistic tendency to split Christ into two separate essences or things, insisted that Christ was one nature, not two. In Greek, one physis, or nature. So for Cyril, Christ was monophysis. Thus, the allegiance to Cyril's language in opposition to Chalcedon was the beginning of the era known as the Monophysite Schism. And in response to the Monophysite Schism, the Second Council of Constantinople was called in the year of our Lord, 553. The Second Council of Constantinople confirmed the validity of the four preceding councils, Nicaea, Constantinople, Ephesus, and Chalcedon. But even more, it was here that the Church further refined her position on Christological questions not explicitly contained in the Chalcedonian formula itself. First, Second Constantinople confirmed one consubstantial trinity, one Godhead, to be worshipped in three persons. Second, that the Word of God had two births, one from the Father from all eternity and the other in time, being made flesh from the ever-Virgin Mary, the Mother of God. Third, that the Word of God, the second person of the Trinity, truly endured suffering in His flesh. Fourth, that the union of two natures in one person is one where the Word of God is united to the flesh, fully animated by a living, rational human soul. Finally, Second Constantinople firmly condemned what the Monophysites feared the most, that Jesus Christ was somehow split into two separate things or essences. And in this way, the theologians at the Council attempted to reconcile the language of Chalcedon with the true insights of Cyril of Alexandria. So Jesus Christ is one hypostasis, one subsistent reality or thing, one person. But this one person of the Word of God united unconfusedly and without mixture, two complete natures, one divine, the other human. Now, these debates were by no means over, but regarding the Monophysite Schism, the Church had spoken. Jesus Christ is indeed one person in two unconfused natures. Brothers and sisters, keep studying. This is Father Brad Elliott for the Western Dominican Province.